friends, it's Peggy from Pretty Paper Cards, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Tropical Chic Step Card. Um, it's with our Tropical Chic Bundle, and it's a step card, meaning that it steps out a little bit for you, so that when you give it to, um, when you give it to someone, it, it can stand up for them like that, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. All right, now I'm going to show you the parts of the uh, suite that we're going to be using. And the first one is the beautiful Tropical Chic stamp set. And this, we're going to use almost all of these today. Well, actually, we're going to use some of these today. What we're going to use almost all of is the Tropical Thinlets dies. Look at those. They're gorgeous. And I've used, I've used them on this project. You'll see them as we go through. And then it's using our beautiful Tropical Chic Designer Series paper. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see all of these beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, right now, during the month of July, this is one of the papers that you can get. Um, buy three, get one free. And there are lots of papers to choose from, so you can buy three of different different ones and get one free. So it's a really great deal just during the month of July 2018. All right, let's get started. To start our card, we're gonna have a card base, which is 11 inches by four and a half, scored at five, four and a quarter, rather, scored at five and a half. And all of these measurements are gonna be down below for you. And we're gonna add a piece of our pretty designer series paper. This is five and a half by four, and it sits right inside of there. And I'm gonna adhere that with my Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. And this is how I glue things. I just put the smallest little bit down the center and it will adhere just great. So the point of this is it goes from the top to the bottom and the sides are inset. So the one thing about the liquid glue is it gives you a moment to move things around and I kind of like that. Okay. Now, what makes your step card is this piece. This is um, a piece that is 11 inches, scored at five and a half, and then scored again at two and a quarter. And this is gonna go down the center of, of your card base with your designer series paper. Then we fold it up and then back down. And this is what really makes your step card work. So just, I'm going to go ahead and burnish those folds to make sure that they fold really well. Burnish them with the bone folder. Now, what I do is I hold it up, hold it, up, hold it um, where I want it to go, right in the center there with this folding part out, and then I'm gonna glue the back. Now you may also want to use um, tear and tape because it's a little bit more secure. But for today, I'm just gonna use our Tombow glue. So I'm gonna place that right in the center there. And again, it allows for a little movement to get it really straight. Press that down. Then I have another piece of a different one of the Tropical Designer Series paper. And this one is, um, this one was two inches, and so this is gonna be 1.75 or one and three quarters inches, and it's gonna go right on the top there. So let's glue that down. Like I said, you don't need a lot, just a, I just kinda of have fun there with that, just a little bit. So we're gonna, again, place this in the center of our Blushing Bride, this color, this pink is Blushing Bride, and you can see how I can just move it around real easily. All right, now we already have our step base like that. Isn't that neat? So you're basically all done and now we just decorate it. For decorating, um, one thing I wanted to use was this beautiful die from the die set. I think this is gorgeous. And I'm gonna place it on top of a, another piece of this, the designer series paper from this set so that it gives this real pretty it gives a real pretty background to it. So for this, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right around the edges, just a little bit. We don't need a lot. 
that's probably even too much, just a tiny bit, a little in the center of the leaves. If you overdo glue, then it ruins your card and makes it lumpy looking. The paper can get lumpy. So just a little bit of glue there. And then I just place it down right on top of this piece. And again, I don't remember the specific measurement for this. It'll be, it'll be written down at the bottom underneath the video for you. Okay, so there we have that piece. And this is the piece that's going to set on the front of your step card and we're going to bring it to this edge. I get that where you can see it. This edge right here. So I'm going to glue it down on that. So I'm going to try to center it and then bring it down right to that lower edge. And let's press that. Press that down so it adheres really well. Okay, and now we really have the base of our step card, don't we? Look at that, isn't that neat? Now all we need to do now is really decorate it. Let me see, I'm gonna turn, see if I can still move that just a hair. Okay, now we have a piece of another one of the designer series papers, and this is about four by a half an inch. And what I wanna do with this is just set it right here on the base, but I want it to come almost above this fern panel because we're gonna tuck lots of different die cut leaves in there. So I'm gonna place adhesive on each side here and leave this part blank or, or not, not adhered, unadhered so that we can tuck some leaves under there. So I'm just gonna put some glue on each edge close this and put this right across there on the but we're on the lower panel right okay Let's see if we can get that even there we go so it's only adhered here and then we get to start tucking different leaves in and i have die cut all these fun little leaves for us and so we can um let's see I may not have as many as I had on the sample card, but we're gonna go with this one. And those little ends are very delicate. There we go, there's the front. And so we can tuck that down in like that. And all you do is put just a tiny bit of adhesive right in there, just the littlest bit. It doesn't take a lot. And then I'm gonna tuck it right in there like that. Okay, so that's down. And then I'm going to tuck this piece in. These are all beautiful die cuts from the from the set. It's they have so many gorgeous die dies in this set. I really love it. And we're going to put this over here like that. Okay. And this is a fun little piece. These colors are um, blushing bride. This this green right here is Granny Apple Green. This is Shaded Spruce, and this little piece is one of our new ones, uh, Soft Sea Foam, that I really love. And I think almost all these colors are new, except the Blushing Bride. And this little piece I really like, so I'm gonna put him, I think, kind of like that. So you can see now, we're doing, we're doing great, and all we need to do now is decorate this part. So for this part, the lower section, we want to put our greeting on it. Here's our sentiment. I'm just going to, there was a little rough edge there, so I'm just going to smooth that down. On the one I, the other one I did, I, I made, um, I clipped little arrow edges, but today I don't think I'm going to do that. And we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere this piece. And you can see, I made a mistake on one side. <laughs> and you know with stamping, you just turn it over and do the other side and you haven't wasted any paper. That came out a little bit uneven. So I didn't waste my paper and I stamped it on the other side and it came out great. So we're gonna take off our little um, covers of our dimensionals. And now we're just going to center that from edge to edge here, right in the middle of our fern panel. Okay, 
there we go. And now we're going to tuck this little guy in here. I think I'll tuck him a little bit over like that. Let's put some adhesive on him. These ferns are so pretty. Okay, so we're just going to tuck him in a little bit like that. And you can do this, you can do the decorating any way you like. Now I want to show you the Darling Hibiscus Flowers. This is one of the stamps from the set. And I think it is so cute. Look at these little hibiscus flowers. Aren't they darling? And I've already die cut. There are three that I've used. I've die cut all of them. But I left this one in the die so that you could see how, how perfectly that die fits that, fits that little um, hibiscus. I think it's so cute. And I'm going to use dimensionals to pop these up also so that they, whoops, so they come up off the page. So these flowers are pretty small and they just take one dimensional. And then I just put them around wherever I thought would look good. So I'm going to put one right here on this edge, like that. And let's get, um, put in, I think I'm going to put, whoops this other one right here. My fingers are a little bit sticky from that glue. Okay, very quick. Now it's going quickly because I had already pre-cut all of these for the purposes of the video. Um, but they're easy dies to use and to cut with. And here we go. Put this final one right in there. And our card is completely finished. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? I just love it. Can you see how it pulls out like that? Nothing goes here. That just closes up. Now, I'll show you my initial one that I made. On the inside, I stamped the fern stamp in, in the um, soft seafoam color. Here's our, here are your colors that we used, the inks. Blushing Bride, Soft Sea Foam, and Shaded Spruce in our beautiful new case stamp sets, or excuse me, ink pads. And I put, I like to decorate my envelope and I use the same fern for the envelope. Isn't that a cute card? And you can write in here and you can write on the inside in here. There's lots of room for writing. So there's your Tropical Chic step card for today. Thanks for stopping by. And um, to shop, I'll put the link down below. And also, don't forget to go on over to my blog, prettypapercards.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.